Okay everyone, we're back with more of this brilliant set of Hunting Ground. Now we're now going to be in the extremely the final last section of the game. I think you may have found something because I didn't actually pause the game. Because I heard him barking while I was saving my files on Audacity so it didn't crash or anything. And it just and everything seems to be fine, so I'm gonna now do the longest recording. We're gonna go in the hole quickly, and we can change the costumes now. You are now able to change costumes. Change into the alternative costumes that you have detained by searching the chest located in the room. Now this game does have multiple costumes, and we can change them in this chest here that he was talking about. In this, is this the other feels wearing while in the castle? Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the mansion as well. Now I'm just gonna quickly show it off. Um, obviously we've been through this, most of the game in this. And I do like it more than her current one we have to wear, but you realise there may be a few changes. Her hair's still a bit of a mess, and she's got no longer got any good looking boots on her feet. And we're now going to go back to her original one, because this is how the game wants you to play it in it. In this, you know, flipping, filthy little flipping dress thing. Sadly. We're now going to play some more of this mini game. Because everyone loves this mini game, right? Of me just randomly doing this. And I don't have anything else, so that's that mini game over and done with. Right. So, this next section, I did get really confused. And when I say really confused, I mean I got really confused. I did not know what to do at all. It's just a small section at the moment. But I have finally figured out what needs to be done. Now, I believe down here... Well, thank you game. Jesus. Now, you see down here is also empty. We can examine these. Caution, extremely venerable. I wonder if the explosives order like inside. Oh, if whatever is inside caught on fire, it could be disastrous. Did you say dangerous or disastrous? Disastrous. Okay, I didn't just imagine that. So that is extremely weird. Also, yeah, we can also examine this. The fire spots showers of sparks into the air. Yes. And now, this is the strange part. We will now be quickly looking at this thing just to refresh our uh, status. So we're now at full health and all that stuff. And the game's just gonna throb and lag like crazy just then. I don't know what's with the game at the moment. Well, it's obviously the limit as well. Now, this also just, you know, circles around, just proof there. So that pretty much leads to the same place. Now I keep thinking there's a body here. Well, there is a body besides under this, which you can't do anything with, even with Hugh's help. Now, there are two phases here. In the, this one right here, on the far right of the screen, there's a wisp. But on the left one, there's an item. And if I got that in the wrong order, I would have just cried. And that's another medallion thing for the other thing. Oh, great. I'm not going to go back and do that at the moment. I don't know, that may be the last time of my... That's maybe the last chance I get. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now, down here, we've got a golden candlestick. And Fiona's got something to say about that. Nice candlestick. No idea what it's for, but common sense would suggest that I should probably need it... That would suggest that I probably need to light it somehow. Well, yeah, really. I mean, we've got all these fires that we could lit it with, like this one. But no, that's a no. This is connected to another corridor, but those these four boarding bars seem to keep out all unwanted guests, yours truly included. Well, that's a shame, there's nothing else to do here. I mean, all these fires we see here, torches, and we can't light a candlestick with it. You can't even light it with the other one that you can examine, believe you or not. At the moment, we need to be in a certain predicament. And for some reason, I decided to charge into that door. And this is exactly why. Oh, an old man's stuck in a chair. Could you be Lorenzo? Oh, poor Fiona. Ricardo put you through quite a bit. 
didn't he? Yes, he did actually. He tried to rape her. Amazing. Unlike Ugo, he was always a troublemaker, a bad apple. <laughs> I, Aureolus Lorenzo Belli, created them both, Ricardo and Ugo. She stole Ugo away from me. Oh great. I don't know what the way this is going. Of course. And then you came along, my dear. My dear Fiona. Fate brought you back to me. And now you are mine. All mine. <laughs> this is as creepy that an old man is saying this. Oh, oh, he's got a wheelchair on his side, he'll get rid doomed. Wait, 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 the door opened the other way. I don't want any of this. And, of course, Lorenzo is now right behind me and he's crawling. And let me tell you, everyone, he's a flipping fast crawler. He can catch up to Fiona when she's running. And also, he can open doors. Is that you? Over there? Wait, has he already lost me? How the hell did he leave me? Look at that crawling speed! Jesus lice! Jesus lice! I can't even finish the fucking sentence! And we just go on this and that's how we carry on. We like the golden candlestick with this. We can't do it when he's not chasing us and you can hide! There is an hiding place. And now I'd like to ask another thing. How the hell did he get here? And oh Fiona just throws it. And then Fiona tries to run into a flopping dead end. I don't know why. It, oh wait. Oh. The bell's caught on fire. Oh. Oh my. What a nice rendered cutscene. And oh he's had that stuff just fallen on him. That's convenient. And a secret passage. We can now explore more of the... Um, where are we? How's the truth? I don't even know. How's the truth? Is that what he called the place earlier when we saw the in the memo? I could read it, but whatever. The wreckage from the wall lies in a mess on the floor. What a powerful explosion. Huey. Now, okay, so let's go Go on, see what's here. Oh! We got some more medallion, okay. And no, this must be the other side where we were from. And we can't do anything about that, okay. Oh! Wait, what the hell? Survive that? I know, question, you can still crawl? Fear. Oh, you crawl quite quick as well. Oh god, suddenly fast speed. No, go away, there's no as off for you. Oh. And this is where we're gonna finally deal with him, by the way, everyone. His music sounds terrifying as well. So we tackled this machine, and that starts it off. And as you can see, that thing's now working. Seems to be working quite well, in fact. Now, whatever we got here does, what we do. We got a crawling man, and what's Fiona gonna say to this? Lorenzo, that voice, he was the only one who I thought was really on my side. I thought he was trying to harm me, why is he doing this? No, in fact, he's the final boss, everyone. Shocking, isn't it? The one guy that was trying to help us, and he's just wants Fiona for himself, basically. He didn't want Ricardo getting her, or 
Demolisher has started moving. No human can survive a direct attack from that. I have to be careful. Oh, really? I see. Whoa. Okay, let's just wait for that to stop moving. Okay, Lorenzo, you don't need to scream. Alright. And I fucking miss. Great. Great. Well, you see, everyone, we need him on this, and then we push the button. Oh, you move slow when I'm in the corner, Lorenzo. Oh, for fluffing and Satan. Here we go. Oh, wait, okay. Come on, get him, Huey. Don't, don't, stop doing that attack. God damn it, Huey. Thank you, Huey. Jesus. No! God damn it, stupid machine. Oh, wait, Huey, calm yourself. Oh, wait. Oh, my God, he's doing this at fast speed. Alright. Oh, and he's pretty much dead. That's perfect. So now we can just start the machine, and he's now gonna go bye bye. Oh. Ooh. 